what's up everybody so uh, today I wanted to show you the uh, table saw that I'm working on what I wanted was uh, a table saw with more space and a better fence and uh, I didn't have a lot of money so um, I took my Porter Cable worksite saw and uh, basically just put a top uh, on top of it now uh, couple things that I did in order to do that um, I routed out the uh, the board so that I could set the table saw up into it more this is just a uh, three-quarter inch piece of ply that goes around the entire thing and there's probably about uh, where the where the table saw sits about three sixteenths of an inch or so so that's only that's all I'm losing with my uh, blade when it's raised up is only about three sixteenths and not the full three quarters. So the work top is made out of a four by four sheet of uh, three quarter inch ply. It's a the seven ply, so it's not bad. Um, which uh, with the birch finish and uh, that was about thirty five dollars for that. The um, the legs and all this stuff is just scrap from dumpsters and construction sites, so that was pretty much all free. And uh, then the fence was another $35 uh, sheet of 4x4 four four, um, plywood. And uh, so this fence is great because uh, it's nice and long, it slides freely, and uh, it's, it extends all the way to my outfeed, which I'll show you in just a minute. But I've got a little outfeed uh, table there, and um, I got this idea from uh, Matthias Wandel, and I'll put a link to that video in the uh, description. But basically, uh, I've stacked up some ply right here, um, and this mechanism is just uh, just grabs onto the back of that. Show you here uh, that kind of free floats and it just grabs onto uh, this right here and as I turn this it tightens and pretty much holds this giant t-square uh, aka my fence in place and as you can see it's pretty solid very very little deflection at the end um, so there's that uh, once I had all that stuff I raised the blade through here and I hadn't yet put the zero clearance insert in yet uh, I'll get to that in just a second but uh, I wanted to be able to have a, uh, uh, a sled for uh, some cross cuts so I needed to uh, I needed to cut out the um, the runners here and uh, I basically just figured out where the um, the tracks were drilled in and uh, then used a router bit with a follower to get these and then I used my fence to continue uh, that cut all the way to the end so that's how I got my tracks in there uh, then I built a fence or a uh, sled and uh, was able to do some cross cutting and then uh, for the insert I basically did the exact same thing uh, I drilled in and then I used a router bit to come on through here um, and then uh, my insert was basically just an old piece of, uh, of uh, crown molding for some cabinets that I took and glued up and sanded down and um, far better it's a lot thicker than uh, than the one that came with the, with the thing and um, I knew I needed some hardwood because uh, I tried doing it with some uh, pine, even nice pine, right here, and uh, it warps a little bit. Um, so that's definitely not the best thing for uh, the inserts. And I went and got myself some some walnut and started making some more. So um, zero clearance inserts are uh, definitely a good thing, especially if you're going to be changing out blades. For, uh, for dado stacks and whatnot. And a couple other little features of the saw. Um, again, 
talked about this, but uh, you know, there's some stuff in there just for storage of pencils and um, sandpaper and whatnot. <clears throat> um, I intend to uh, put uh, some sort of dust collection up under here, whether that's just a uh, slide in trash can or something. That's all hollow, so all the dust just comes flying down here. Um, and I'll probably put some drawers on the sides or something like that to hold different stuff. I made this uh, feather board. Uh, I'll put a link to the description of how I figured that out. Um, but basically, just uh, made some knobs in, in the feather board. And uh, take it down a little bit more. The biggest challenge I had with this is right here, uh, I needed to figure out a way that uh, when I was spinning my knobs, uh, especially as I was tightening them, that these uh, nuts wouldn't spin. And so uh, what you can probably see right here is, uh, all right, I drilled through that bolt and just put a um, little pin in there. See that? Uh, to go into that slot so that it would not spin. And with that in there, the taper on that head is uh, what spreads this board out and uh, creates that friction grip inside that track. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, so the, uh, the next feature of this table saw, um, part of the noise, is uh, this outfeed. The uh, outfeed of this table. Um, I, uh, again, I said that I used a four by four sheet of this uh, plywood, and uh, this is only about a foot and a half or so of extra material, so the uh, depth of that without this up is about two and a half feet or, or so. Um, so all I did was make a cut down here and uh, then I just rounded off the edges of my two by fours and set that up and uh, drilled a hole and that's just PVC. It's a little squeaky, but uh, there's absolutely nothing else holding that in other than the friction between these two boards. Drilled that out and now that can come up and I've got a mechanism here. There we go. Uh, my tracks don't continue through here. I figured that if I'm gonna be using this crosscut slid, um, that I'm more than likely not gonna need this, my outfeed table. So uh, I didn't plan on continuing them through. I might um, continue them through if, uh, if the need arises, uh, which shouldn't be too hard. But as you can see that uh, that fence continues all the way through to uh, to the outfeed, which is kind of nice. And uh, I can really work with uh, big stuff or small stuff, um, given the versatility of this saw. And uh, again, I put this on uh, the whole thing on two inch casters. The entire setup is uh, three feet tall, which is uh, higher than normal counter height. And uh, the reason being is uh, I'm pretty tall. I don't like to bend over when I'm working with stuff and uh, B the other tables that I have built are uh, all that height so especially um, The table that uh, you may remember me building um, I can roll that out and set that behind here or off to the side so that uh, I've got extra support off the table um, So yeah, uh, I think it's a uh, an awesome project pretty pretty easy if you're just gonna go with some of the basics but um, let me know what you think I'd be interested to see if you have any other ideas for this saw um, some tips or tricks or uh, any other little gadgets that can make this saw better I'm always looking for uh, something new to, uh, to add to it into my shop so um, let me know what you think and uh
I hope this inspired you, maybe gave you an idea or two. This is just a quick overview of some of the finer points of the design of the structure of the table saw. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I have enjoyed making and using this table saw. So far it has been amazing in all aspects and I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Leave a comment, ask a question, definitely hit that like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.